shows you that within their own grouping of these five mapokos, they also have their own respect for each other, give their own space. And I think this is why this guy isn't answering at the moment. The other line is roaring in the distance. It sounds like 400 meters or so away. And this one isn't answering. That other line will eventually find them. But he doesn't want to tell the other male about the food too quickly. Let's make sure that he gets something to his belly first. They are quite lean. It looks like they probably haven't eaten much for the last five days or so. And if we get a nice smell from this carcass as well. The wind has just turned slightly. And you can certainly smell the meat is getting old. Okay, James. Yeah, sure. Um, pulling Charles is on his way in. Um, just let me know when you when you turn off into this latin and then I'll start making space here. Shot James, yeah, no, but whenever you're going to call in, come in, there's uh, two of them here. And then I just heard a Ngala calling in the distance. Is that the one that you had on the boundary? Okay, thanks James, copy. Well, now we know where four of these males are already. One has still not been seen this morning as far as I know. Although there was one further up north yesterday that was mating with a female, so that might have been the fifth one. But we've got the two here, this beautiful guy that we're looking at right now eating in this giraffe carcass. <laughs> He's really working at that. Need to go a bit forward, James. It's still good. Yes, he's beautiful. Then we've got the other male that was feeding. He's just lying back in the grass now, digesting and resting a bit. He's uh, another male. So we say the third one that we know of definitely this morning. He's on the boundary, not too far from here. We're going to try and see him a little bit later if he's still around. And then the fourth one that has been seen this morning is further north into Bifelzuk. That's the one that we heard roaring in the very far distance earlier. So these males are quite spread out at the moment. Yes, but I like this one, huh? He's got lack of eyes. He's just got really... I like what I see in his eyes. Wouldn't walk up there and take his food away from him. One of the things that I can see in those eyes is you don't mess with this guy easily. You can get away with it lightly. But this is what I like. I like wild untamedness. The wilderness aspect of this place that we're in. And lions are probably one of the best embodiments of that. They literally just say wilderness. And uh, this specific guy... He's just got that whole look in his eyes that I really like. Let's look at him. He's beautiful. A couple of scars on his forehead there. You can see just above the eyes. Sort of halfway up his forehead. And also just on the eye bank itself. That would be from some of the latest fights he's been in. And those scars will be around for long enough that we can recognizing from those for now and then over time we'll start looking more and more at him another way that we little details on him is he's got quite blonde mane at the top with that little bit of a black mohawk running down the middle of it just looking at all the little features of this male i look forward to getting to know this specific guy more over time amazing setting this as well James was saying just now and we were talking about it but it's just it's such an amazing setting we've got a big giraffe another animal that is very very African or unique to Africa you can see the texture of it in the foreground the whole time lush green grass around us and it's just uh, it's incredible that we can sit here not so long ago we all lived in fear of lions that's why they are now eradicated from large parts of the earth 
luckily over time, hopefully in time, as humans we started understanding our natural environment more and more and we started interacting in different ways. And now we're at a stage where we can actually sit here like this, close to a very big, very wild lion. But over time they have learned that they don't need to fear us, same as we have learned that we don't need to fear them. Healthy respect is necessary, of course, but to be able to sit this close and literally be part of this, we are as much part of this environment or his environment at the moment as any of the other lions in this area or as much as the grass or the trees. It's a great privilege. I mean, just look at that. That is just phenomenal. What a setting. Look at those paws as well. Every now and again you just see those paws come out. Big, big, big paws. Say again, James, sorry? Getting in there. Ah, look at that paw, yeah. Big paw. Now again, just to put this into size perspective, I would say this male probably hmm, is pretty big. Maybe with a full belly it'll be about 200 odd kilograms. I don't think it'll be much more than 200 kilograms, about 440, 450 pounds. But the size of that paw, and he's got big paws, this guy, would be, without the nails spread out, about the size of my face. Or if you were just where you're sitting now, just open your hand wide and put it on the side of your face. That would be the size of his paw when he's relaxed, when the nails are in, and he's not spreading out the paw. On the other hand, if he actually stretches the nails out, they come out of those sheaths in the toes, he, um, he would be able to almost wrap it around your head massive animals these we don't always appreciate the size of them because we don't get so close to them mm, amazing good looking cat Peter, Peter. Yeah, FM James, uh, if you just turn down Aina Road and then take the fire break towards the east, uh, not, not that far, probably 150 meters or so, uh, you'll see the tracks, the car tracks turning south. Very, very close to that time that you found them on that Skovanin, uh, sort of into that same area almost. Uh, and then just keep following the tracks in. I think Charles should be quite close now, so soon after he gets here, I'll start uh, making some space. So just keep coming. Yeah, it's very lucky. The one my daughter is digging into this nyama. <laughs> this is awesome. Huh? This is really as close and as personal as you will ever get with wildlife. It's right, right here next to us. Go a little bit forward, James, or you? you can go a bit forward. Yes, I don't know. I presume those leaves are probably in your frame. I can't exactly see what what you seeing at the moment. Oh. Look at 